In this section of the Modal AI Developer Bootcamp, we're going to give an overview of the Wi-Fi functionality and utilities on Voxel 2 and Voxel 2 Mini. For the demonstration, we're going to be using a Starling V2 development drone. First, we're going to ADB into Voxel to see what the current setup is. When you receive a Voxel development kit with a Wi-Fi dongle, then the uh, Wi-Fi will be set up in soft AP mode, which means that Voxel is broadcasting its own network with its own SSID and will always come up with the 192.168.8.1 IP address, which is printed out here on the Bash splash screen. We can also access that information with the Voxel My IP tool. This will show the current IP address and primary interface of whatever is connected. If you're not using Wi-Fi, this will also show uh, Ethernet interfaces if you're using a USB to RJ45 adapter. Uh, this will also show your IP address over a microhard 4G or 5G link. Now, we also have the Voxel Wi-Fi tool. And if we run Voxel Wi-Fi help, we will see some of the uh, modes available. Mostly we're going to be using the wizard here. So, um, First, let's try the get mode just to see what we currently have. So if we run voxel Wi-Fi get mode, we will see that um, the voxel Wi-Fi utility is telling us we are in soft AP mode with the SSID voxel hyphen and then the MAC address of the USB Wi-Fi dongle that you have attached. This is the factory configuration and you can always go back to this by running voxel Wi-Fi factory. Now, let's try connecting our laptop to the Voxel factory mode soft AP network. So on my laptop, I'm going to open up the Wi-Fi page and we'll see at the top the um, soft AP SSID and we're gonna connect with the password 12345678890. Give that a couple seconds. There we go, we are connected. So now if I open another terminal window, we can run IP space address in our Ubuntu laptop and we will see that we've connected and received through DHCP the first IP address in the DHCP range, which is 192.168.8.10. Uh, whenever running in soft AP mode, whether it's your custom SSID or the factory mode MAC address ID, uh, you're always going to be in the .8 subnet and DHCP will hand out monotonically increasing uh, IP addresses starting at .10. Uh, the second device to connect will get .11, so on and so forth. So now we should be able to ping Voxel from our laptop. So I can ping 192.168.8.1 and we'll see we have a connection. Uh, this is always the address that uh, Vox will come up in. So now we can try pinging uh, our laptop from Voxel. Remember we're ADB'd in over USB right now. So we're going to ping 192.168.1.8.10 and we'll see that we can ping my laptop from Voxel. Now, if you want an internet connection on Voxel, you're going to want to connect it to a different uh, network. And so let's use the Voxel Wi-Fi wizard uh, to move over and connect to our test network we have set up. So our options in the wizard are to leave the current setup as is and quit, go into station mode, which is what we're about to do to connect to a normal Wi-Fi network. We can also set up our own soft AP network with a custom SSID or use the factory mode which will do soft AP with the MAC address ID here. So let's select option two to go into station mode. It's gonna ask us which SSID. Uh, I'm going to connect to our bootcamp network and then our password here is hello voxel. It's going to say configuring and that the station mode configuration has succeeded. This will take a few seconds to connect. Meanwhile, I'm gonna make sure my laptop can connect to the bootcamp network as well. So I'm going to select bootcamp on my laptop. 
with the name hello voxel this will obviously be your network and password and now my laptop is connected as well and let's see if voxel is connected we can either run IP address on voxel to see that we have indeed connected but we can also use the voxel my IP tool to confirm once again that we've connected on WLAN 0 and we've received a new IP address through DHCP from our Wi-Fi router and so here Voxel has got the .1.20 address let's check what my laptop has now so now we can run IP address on my laptop and see that we've got the 1.82 address so let's try pinging my laptop from Voxel now and sure enough we're able to ping from Voxel to laptop over a normal Wi-Fi network I'm going to try the same here so let's try pinging the dot 20 address that Voxel's at and sure enough we can connect this has been an overview of the Voxel Wi-Fi and Voxel My IP utilities on Voxel 2 and Voxel 2 Mini